So continuing our wargaming April Fool's madness, we're over at World of Warplanes, and as you can see, I don't play this game very much from uh, the looks of my hangar, but um, this is the first message that we see. Uh, at 0100, I think that's what you're supposed to say. At 0100 sharp, an anom anomaly was reported at the secret base, Area 51. The runaway began s swiftly changing colors to reveal a Sleepner, I don't speak German, allied combat vehicle that arrived from a parallel universe. So, uh, <laughs> hail to Asgard. So, from the looks of it, it's a German, f oh Jesus, this is big. It's a German fighter, uh, UFO. Interesting. Uh, I, unlike World of Warplane or World of Tanks, rather, uh, I don't think that these uh, these UFOs get their own special game type or game type or map. So uh, I'll probably <laughs> be playing with uh, against some regular planes. Although I'm not sure. Look at and look at the poster in the background. That's new as well. Uh, I think they even have missions for it. Oh. So, on Slipner's tracks, win a standard battle, become one of the top five combat experience. Uh, so I have to play another plane. Um, yeah, noth none of these have anything to do with it. I know it says on Slipner's tracks, but I think I have to play a different plane. Enough of the jibber jabber. Let's get right into it. I imagine a good amount of people are playing this because uh, who wouldn't? Um, like like the Carl. If you see that in your garage, you'd be like, uh, let's play it. So I don't know why matchmaking is having such a hard time finding a game, seeing that there are 57 fighters, at least 50% of them being this UFO type thing. Uh, we got it. Maybe trying to uh, skepticize. I think that's a word. So are there aren't any sleep nurse. Why would? Why isn't everybody playing this? I mean, really. <laughs> this should be really interesting, though. There's only one sleep nurse. Man, outclassed here. I need to get in a tier 5 battle. But this guy. Oh, I'm after this guy. <laughs> Look at that. Total UFO. There's not even a... Oh, there you go. Wow, this climbs like crazy. straight up then. The I can't tell which way is up and down. Boost. Eh. What's happening? UFO. Okay. Back to normal. <laughs> That's awesome. Although I'm not going very fast at all. I, I wonder how... Oh, it's because I'm going to tier 7 play. I just realized that. So, this is actually the very first battle I've ever played against tier 7s. So, this should be very interesting. Um, considering that all my planes in my hangar are tier 5 and under. But, uh... Yeah, it does not uh, roll very well at all. That's well. Okay, let's go after this guy. He's... No, let's not go after that guy. He's, uh... Better than me in every way. Yeah, let's go after him. What the hell? He's probably gonna die before we get a chance at him. Okay. My teammates get that guy. Spitfire 5? Okay, he's in my class. Or at least... Nope, he crashed. Am I gonna be able to get a shoot at anyone? I mean, come on. Give me a chance. Where's my... 
Where's the other UFO friend? There, oh, there he is. There's someone. I'm coming for you. Wow, I don't have to lead him at all. This is actually very difficult to do. <laughs> the, the thing is, is that this, this is not overpowered in the slightest. In fact, I'm very much uh, outclassed in everything. But it just feels overpowered. Like, I can imagine the people thinking about this... this Aircraft? I can't call it a, an airplane. Oh no. Please don't say. Okay, that was just my friendly. Oh man. They, they won't let me have fun. This thing is not very maneuverable. Let's watch it explode. And there it lies. The German UFO. Alright, let's watch our other UFO friend. That doesn't work. Where are you? UFO. There he is. It's yes, it's very odd to not have to lead uh, your targets whatsoever. Because they're lasers! Looks like a hat. Looks like a flying hat. This dude just grew. Shoot your lasers. Get them. Yes. In fact, it's it's actually easier to hit targets when you have to lead them. Because... Uh, unless I'm not used to it. But as it stands right now, you, it's way harder to track a, an airplane if you don't, if you have, don't have to lead it. The lasers don't seem very effective. My opinion opinion the lasers should, should just disintegrate the plane right away but scloop nose apparently that's the, the code name for it but this is what I've been looking waiting for forever UFOs and and Carl's epic Carl's Not gonna lie, when when you die in World of Warplanes, it's a lot more uh, boring than when you die in World of Tanks. Just kind of chasing after someone. Go flying hat. Oh, you didn't get the kill. I'm just gonna call the sleep there. I don't even care that it's grossly uh, wrongly pronounced. But hey, you actually get experience. Yeah. Let's see how it oh yeah <laughs> third from the bottom represent the UFO party all right let's try that again and actually get a decent game it looks like oh never mind it appeared for a second I was gonna get a good game but I mean talking in a general sense for this game uh, I don't play it as much as World of Tanks, but um, it's a good refresher. Like, after a couple bad games that we all have in World of Tanks where it just seems like nothing is going our way, uh, you could just exit out and play a little World of Warplanes uh, for a change. And, uh, ah, just what I wanted. A game of all UFOs. But technically, we can't call them UFOs because they have a name. And obviously, they're identified. But yes, they're they're not planes. They're flying hats. Let's watch this th thing climb, though. I guess I gotta save my engine uh, boost. Yes, they're very tough to aim. And I can't tell which way it's facing. Good is my problem. 
But this thing boosts like no other. I'm flying straight up. And there's no problem whatsoever. I'm gonna have to flip back over. There you go. Shoot damn fast. Yeah, I think that's the only problem, is that there really are no there's only one gun and it's mounted right in the middle. But uh, let's climb a little bit more. It's terribly in uh unmaneuver. Are, who's going to be our victim? I feel like I want to just go after that heavy fighter. It'd be the easiest to hit. Alright, let's do it. Roll. Roll. I'm coming in for the booty. Swiggity, swiggity. I've come for you, woman. Exterminate! Oh, they it set them on fire. Burn! Fast. <laughs> I keep setting them on fire. Come on, just die already. Oh no, now I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I like how they landed in the ground. They're like half in the ground. That's, that's kind of neat. Okay, that was a very bad game. You can see that all, pretty much all the uh, UFOs on the other team died, which tells me that this uh, aircraft said plane is not very practical and I can imagine why rate of fire 3000 muzzle velocity 3000 damage per second 50 Let's see can I buy different ammo for it or nope just standard right, let's uh, try this one more time and see if we can actually get a good game in it like uh, that one game in the car in fact uh Pretty sure I won every other, every other, one of those Carl games. All right, top tier. There's tier fours. Uh, I'm feeling better about this. Yeah, the maneuverability on these things are poop. Even though it doesn't say. At least the firepower is pretty much even with everything. Trying to think of what else this reminds me of. It's kind of odd. Just got a laser right there. Why doesn't why isn't a laser in a better place? This is like straight from a sci-fi. And they name <coughs> they named this aircraft. Um, they named these aircraft like they're actual things. Confuse me. Kind of is confusing. But look at this thing. I guess it doesn't need a uh, airspeed at all. I, mean, I can climb up as high as I want. I pretty much engine almost cools down by the time the I has uh, need it again. Look how high I am. That was no problem. Godzilla. I must see this. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's Godzilla! <laughs> That's so awesome. That <laughs> oh, I don't even care about this battle anymore. I, I, I just don't care. 
<laughs> Why is it so much more funny than than uh, a flying saucer in <laughs> Warplanes? All right, I, I guess I gotta go do something. Although I'm kind of interested in as high how high I can go. Uh, let's discover that first, since it seems like my team has it pretty much under control. Oh, someone's shooting me. Apparently, they can go up this high as well. See how long it takes for me to get all the way down. How the hell did he climb this high? I was over 2,500 meters in the air. Look at this flaming wreck. It's like a, a meteor coming down to Earth. Let's watch uh, Godzilla in the background. Oh my god, that is so awesome. I can't, I can't even contemplate how awesome that is. I don't think my my aircraft can accelerate as, as fast as it was going. Well, uh, yeah, this this uh, aircraft is pretty bad, to be honest. But uh, I don't even care. I, I don't. So uh, that was. Uh, April Fools, I'm sure there's a lot of other Easter eggs that I'm missing. Uh, and going on the forums or you know, watching other, um, other people playing this game might reveal some of those Easter eggs, but, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, April Fools Madness 2014, and, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, then, like it if you want, subscribe if you're new, um, anyways, I'm Warzerf, peace, love, and joy.